Alright folks, alright folks, full metal hell out here again with the K-Dang. Actually we're in the same spot that this thing flew away from. And I just want to prove a fact, because it's super windy. This is the same day that I flew the Inductrix earlier today at the AMA field. I just want to prove a point to you guys. A lot of people are trying to say that it had nothing to do with the camera, the original stock camera. Well, let me tell you something. The original stock camera is the reason why this thing flew away. Because right now, I'm going to show you something, guys. We got the, the Mobius. Uh, I just got a rubber band on here with a little vibration mount uh, from actually a Blade 350 QX. I just got a rubber band, like I said, with the Mobius. And we're going to make a little recording with this uh, Mobius cam. And we're going to fly it around from the same spot. And we're going to go out there and we're actually going to fly around. And I'm going to show you guys that this thing doesn't take off. Except with the stock camera and gimbal. So let me go ahead and turn this thing on. Alright, this is on. Let's go ahead and go into mode 2, I believe. Mode 2, uh, let's see here. Yeah, mode 2 is, should be recording right side up now. I believe I have that one set up where it does that. Should be recording right side up. I actually have mode 1 for right side up and then uh, mode 2, you can actually program it where it uh, flips it around, so if your Mobius is upside down like this one is, that it will actually flip the screen around and record the other way. Hopefully, uh, we sh should be good to go. We're going to take off from the same spot, like I said. Hope we don't fly away. Uh, we are in high rate. I just want to see how she flies with the weight of the Mobius on there. Uh, Make sure it's uh, recording as well. I do see it recording, so we should be good. Uh, like I said, super windy day. We're flying the Inductrix 200 out at the AMA field, and I'll be honest with you, there was a couple times where that thing just uh, was like, just floating in the wind. <laughs> Be honest with you, a couple times it, that thing was just uh, floating in, in the wind. It was just uh, literally, the wind was just killing it, killing it. Try to get a little uh, horns there <laughs> for you guys. The wind, like I said, is killing it. Uh, but I'll be honest with you, this thing here, I believe, you know, I believe it does uh, better than the Inductrix 200, <laughs> believe it or not, in the wind, and it'll carry a Mobius, uh, which is something else. The Inductrix 200, you're not going to carry a Mobius, and if you do, you're not going to get much flight time. Uh, this one here, I'll tell you what, has no problem with the wind. The yaw, like I said, is so ballistic, uh, and, the, and the forward pitch is as well. The forward pitch is really insane. Definitely, you could tell there is uh, some extra weight on this uh, quadcopter uh, you, you know it does feel a little bit uh sluggish in the recovery trying to see if my blue lights on yes it is all right uh compared to how it normally feels it does feel a little bit sluggish in the recovery like i said you know it'll kind of go into the uh, vortex ring state a little bit easier than normal I'm trying to get some smooth flying at least get get some halfway decent looking video maybe then we'll do a little sporty flying after that just trying to get a little bit of nice footage here N not all shaky hopefully then we'll go into a little more sporty flying uh, just want to show you guys that it was not the quadcopter or this controller or any kind of uh, Wi-Fi problems or you know, nothing like that. The, you know, it was plain and simple. It was the stock controller. I mean, the stock 
camera and stock gimbal is what caused this quadcopter to go out of control and fly away because today is just as windy if not actually I'd say it's even windier than it was the day that it flew away but this quadcopter actually has no problem fighting the wind actually it does better than my brushless blade uh, inductor 200 did today <laughs> in the same uh, conditions actually see right there the wind will start to take it but it has enough forward pitch to to fight it and it has a yaw that's just insane y'all you know you can get out of trouble real easy with that yaw right there I want to go a little more sporty hopefully and don't end up in the pond <laughs> see that yaw though guys see right there I was full stick up and it was starting to go down a little bit so it does go into the vortex ring state a little bit easier with the weight of the camera and that uh, vibration mount so you just gotta be a little more careful than normal but still don't seem to be having any problem though honestly Actually, we're going to see if we can fly over the house a little bit. I just want to show you guys that it was not uh, the quadcopter or uh, a problem with uh, Wi-Fi interference or, you know, any of that stuff, you know. Plain and simple, the problem was the stock camera and gimbal. Because <laughs> I'm flying in the same location that it flew away at and having absolutely no problems. So, so. And the wind is just as bad today as it was that day, if not worse. And we do have a Mobius attached to it. So can't say the extra weight of that other camera because this weighs probably even more than the stock camera with the uh, you know with the vibration dampener I think we can do a flip with the Mobius <laughs> uh oh uh, wrong button there that was a uh, right <laughs> got so many quadcopters it gets a little confusing Oh god, yeah, it did it, but boy, it took a little while to recover, and the battery must be dead. Oh, yeah, let me bring her back. The battery's dead. Alright, go ahead and land it, folks. Funny thing is, the LVC on this one, I'm not quite sure how that goes, because uh, I haven't seen it kick in yet, and I'll be honest with you, though. It must be really, really low, the LVC on this one, but, uh... You know, I've never actually flown it to the LVC because the battery, you know, a lot of times, like, I'll stop when you start to feel it uh, decrease in performance. I'll just go ahead and stop. Well, uh, the battery will be super low. It'll be on, on like, 3.3. <clears throat> so, I, you know, I can only imagine what the LVC is on this. not want to fly this one to LVC, guys. Let me go ahead and stop the Mobius here. Uh, hope I just... Hope I still got my video there. I didn't just erase it. Uh, okay, well, hope you guys liked the video, and uh, I just want to show you guys that it's not the quadcopter or this controller is not the problem. Uh, the problem is uh, the stock camera and gimbal, uh, and and you got to remember this one here's been beat up pretty good, and it still flies perfect. The, the blades are a little chipped, but. All in all, she's still in one piece and still flying, which is amazing because, because this quadcopter sure has been through it, guys. It sure has. Uh, <laughs> still in the air, too, by the way. So, you know what? This thing's pretty damn durable, and uh, and it's a great flyer. I really kind of like it, guys. Just just don't recommend it with the stock camera. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Peace out.